Welcome back to Danganronpa 2. So. Fuyuhiko was better and then he wasn't. Thanks to a misguided seppuku attempt. Hopefully he's okay now, though. Or at least he will be. Are there seriously no... Okay, there, there is a fast travel system. See how he is doing. Hiko slit his stomach. I guess that was his way of accepting responsibility for what happened. Still, he looks seriously injured. We should make sure he gets plenty of rest. Guess I just need to leave him be for now. scared the crap out of me. I never thought I'd see an actual seppuku in the splatter. Oh, I seriously don't need to see that. What should I do? Should we invite Kazuichi to hang out? Yeah. Well... Yakuza's are pretty annoying to deal with, so I'm glad I'm just a commoner. instrument that measures temperature, humidity. He might like gadgets, though. Ah! With all that trouble, just bring me something amazing? Hajime, you're seriously a nice guy. I'm a little touched. Seriously, thanks. Man. Jeez, why aren't there any vehicles with engines on this damn island? At this rate, I'll take anything. A go-kart, RC toys, a baby carriage. Just let me tinker with something. Maybe carriages don't have engines. Aw, man. There's nothing I can't disassemble, so I took apart the alarm clock inside my room. And when I did that, I couldn't put it back together. Oh, so there are times when even the ultimate mechanic can't fix something. <laughs> of course that sort of thing happens to me all the time. One time, I was tinkering around without thinking, and before I realized it, I made some kind of car thing. <laughs> For some reason, the things I fix always end up being some kind of vehicle. I don't understand that at all. Uh. I don't mind messing around with the frame or connecting the electrical equipment. <whistles> Guys definitely need something with a rumble and some bam bam bam. Hey Hajime, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I really want right now. He's probably talking about a... 
Engine, obviously. Of course! That's right, that's exactly it! Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Doing that over and over gets my brain moving. Ah! I really miss the smell of oil. You're right, I haven't really smelled anything like that since we came to this island. But even if there was a car here, you couldn't drive it since you own the driver's license, right? How annoying! There's no way I'd do something annoying like that. I just get motion sickness anyway. <laughs> I just really like the feeling of an engine running. I like all kinds of machines, but vehicles are definitely the best of the best. Anything you can do with that uh, broken down car in front of the motel. After all, they look so awesome! Oh! Man, I really want to go home soon and start working on my bike again. Oh, you're even making a bike, huh? Awesome! My dream machine's seriously awesome, you know? According to my calculations, it has a top speed of 585 miles an hour. <sighs> Man, I really miss tinkering with that thing. <laughs> oh, but it obviously wouldn't be street legal. Since I get motion sickness, I can't ride anyway. What's the use of making a ride you can't even use? I don't understand that at all. talk to Nekomaru yet either. It's open! Oh wow! Got the drums in this uh interesting looking flag here. Oh! Hajime, good timing. Have you seen Akane? Jeez. Where is she? What's she doing? What should I do? Should we invite Nekomaru to hang out? Huh? I apologize, but can you help me look for Akane? Akane, Akane. How is that pronounced? I don't know. Some, some of these I think there's more than one correct way to pronounce it. I figure if, if I'm really butchering it, um... Ragnats will probably correct me in the comments. In present. What's he gonna want? Ghost. Dolls. An enormous tuning fork. The hands of a tuning master has the power to destroy everything with its resonance. In a pinch, you can also hang your laundry from it. A modern symbol of our present society. This disposable paper has many uses, such as blowing your nose, wiping away dirt, and wrapping with kindness. Small rose stored in a test tube is good for hellos and farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate love. By chanting a secret spell, this mysterious compact mirror will transform you into anything. Even if you're a girl who doesn't stand out much, this item will help put you at the front and center. Oh, is, is this a Sailor Moon reference? I think it is. Wooden stick Monomy found. This unlocks Monomy mode, which is even more fun than the actual game. Again, we'll have to get to that later. Chapter 1. Proof of Good Chapter 2. Proof of the, the prologue. Um, we'll just give him a blue ram. You're giving that to me? 
<laughs> I definitely don't want that. Aw. Crap. Nick Amaro, there's something I've been wondering about ever since we first met. Uh, you've been thinking about me that much? Oh. I see, then I guess I must accept. Come on, bring it on! Uh, don't misunderstand. Hey, why are you walking towards me? Didn't you just tell me to come to you? Sheesh! What? I was, uh, I was about to offer to do it to you. Whoa, hey, buddy. Um... Uh, what's it? I sort of want to know. Wait, I definitely don't want to find out. Then... And so, what are you going to talk about? Yeah, I wanted to ask you why you're just a team manager. <laughs> just? Are you mocking the management profession? No, I didn't mean it like that. Mm. Hajime, you don't know anything. All roads lead to managers. If you yearn to master something, you'll naturally require a manager's help. <laughs> Countless records in this world would not exist without managers. The bond between a top notch athlete and their manager is one that cannot be severed. Bond? Oh! Until now, I've been with various athletes. Yeah, looking back, they were all splendid athletes. I had a baseball player who got an offer to join the major leagues while he was still in middle school. Oh? That what? That wouldn't... His name wouldn't happen to have been Leon Kuwata, would it? A figure skater who performed six and a half spins, and a tennis player who managed to win a 36 hour long match. Huh? They were all people who surpassed me. Do people like that really exist? Sheesh! Now that you understand, don't mock managers. As long as you never do that, I'll lead you to victory, no matter the match. Not much of a sports guy anyway, but more important, he's got a lot of confidence. And I can understand how proud he must be to be a team manager. Just as I thought, Nekomaru's an amazing guy. <clears throat> hmm? Did you just praise me in your heart? Huh? How'd you know? Hold on! When you and I face each other like this, we're one in both body and mind. Yeah! I can easily see what you're thinking! One in body and mind? I really don't want that. <laughs> hey, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm used to being showered with praise. I'm so popular that teams all over the place fighting over me. That's crazy in so many ways, but there's no denying he's an amazing guy. I feel like I have to know Nekamaro a little better. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already, huh? That felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. The doorbell. Does that mean someone's here? Well, obviously. I cautiously walk toward the door and open it slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya! Oh, hi, Ibuki. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you. You know, since we already exchanged nice to meet yous. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it! Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So, uh, what do you want? Um, um, Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? Yes! See, this thing. Oh. That's totally a girl's writing. Let's see, a recovery party for Fuyuhiko. What's this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why you? You mean Fuyuhiko's not recovery? How rude. Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. Yeah, it totally is. Ibuki just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead, I'll leave it to you. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Titty Typhoon's at music venue over on the third island, right? 9pm. That's in 30 minutes. Even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slit his stomach this morning. Yeah, I was gonna say, throwing a party now seems a little... maybe a little inappropriate. 
but she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. Guess I should head over to the music venue. Nagito, Buki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored, but since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery... Someone like me? No matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. This, too, must be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! It's nearly Shota! Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy, oh, who cares anymore? <laughs> Oh, you're here. Are you... you're okay? Several people had already arrived at the music venue, but... Fuyuhiko, why are you... Huh? Is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so... They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. But... I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So... I'm not overdoing it. Sheesh! Fine then, just let him do whatever he wants. But... Huh? It's fine, just let him be. Apparently Yakuza have pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hyoko definitely didn't come. How beautiful. That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here too. Hmm. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. It is odd. I have a bad feeling about her. As if on cue, right when Nekomaru expresses unease, that's when it happened. My! Oh my! Suddenly the stage lit up very brightly and the person who appeared was... Hey y'all! <laughs> it's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! My specialty is making beef stew! Okay, <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. I hope you're all pumped up. Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music thing. All right, I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy. So put your hands together for. From me to you too! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her musical stylings. Yeah. 
Right, encore. <laughs> what kind of face is that? Oh my god, that is horrifying. I'm gonna get cursed! What? Such an overwhelmingly baleful residence. Even my four dark days of the of destruction look even less lively than usual. Something like this! I too am starting to feel chills. What? What? You I guess you guys don't like heavy metal. Oh jeez, you guys. The title like from me to you. I thought it was gonna be a sweet love song. If if I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> Yahoo, it's awesome! That's the first time I've heard such a famous song. Yoko. I'm glad. Ah, you came. Huh. So what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... But if you're attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party, that means you've already... That's not it! Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey! Because he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry so he can try to trick us. Please wait. There's no way that is possible. I know. No, I get why she'd think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's going to get cut off. Oh my god. Ew, don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Kyoko. There's no way she could ever have forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Whoa. Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Oh, I'm sure he's going to have a motive for us very soon. Boring! Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party! Yay! Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song! Alright. Uh, there's still more. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance too? I squeezed out the baby, but I have no <laughs> idea who the father is. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh, this is great. Hey, what's everyone doing here? Well, Monami. Jeez! Hey, don't interfere. I was enjoying such a fun party, too. What? I wasn't invited to the party. <laughs> Obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. What? Double gasp. <laughs> but seriously, now's not the time. 
Now's not the time to enjoy such a fun party. Why? <gasps> Akane. Akane is... Emergency! Akane is dueling Monokuma! What? What did you say? <gasps> At this point, Akane's gonna be in danger. Please do something to save her. Mm -hmm. Looks like my bad feeling was correct. <gasps> that stupid fool! No, I'm the one who is the fool. It was my mistake to not keep my eyes on her. As team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life! Or my name isn't Nekomaro Nidai! Um... Now is not the time for regret. Let us make haste. Of course! Damn it! Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Hey, Monami, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um... They're at the beach when we first arrived at the island. <gasps> Please hurry, if you don't, Akane's gonna get killed. You don't have to tell me! I'm going full speed ahead! See? We should hurry, too. Nekumaru bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I should hurry, too. Hey, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. <laughs> well, yeah, because everyone hated her music. Come on, you should make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. Right, I should hurry too. After riding there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane! Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries! Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise! But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Kane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma's an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed's concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the, dis the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see. Don't fuck with me! <laughs> Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. Ah! No, you can't. You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. <sighs> It's just a little life Pekko gave me. It's not precious, anyway. <laughs> you stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework! Make sure you sear it into your eyes! Oh my god, seriously? Whoa. Now then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This 
is what happens when you break the rules! Disappear! shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white, and within that white I heard a voice. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Nekomaru! Oh no. Ne Nekomaru! Why did you s save? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! Akane... The time I've spent with you, it, it wasn't so bad. Don't die, Akane. Crap. Instead of the rule violator, Akane. What the hell? What a major failure. I ended up killing Nekomaru. We had nothing to do with this. Hey! Hold on. It's faint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet. <laughs> you gotta hurry and treat him. Hey, you. Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekomaru like you saved me. Hey, hey! That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules! Well? Then let's just say we're even! <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekomaru was the sacrifice! Yeah so isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey. You're not gonna save him? Jeez, I guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So? For today only, I'll activate my special trump card. Oh, no, this again. Ooh, uh, this again? <laughs> Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! He even recycled the same line again. <laughs> We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why'd this happen? What's going on? He's gonna be alright, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course, he's obviously going to be saved. Uh, but Fuyuhiko recently returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now. No! No more. I can't stand this anymore. Hey! Hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. Cuz, cuz... I'll go! This isn't cuz. This is what happens when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. <laughs> we were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. <sighs> Are you saying it's meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did have meaning, Nekomaru wouldn't have ended up like that. <laughs> he 
he ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. You! Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey! So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Yoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. Huh. We don't have to worry about Coach Nekamaru. Huh? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Oh. Akane, you're not worried about Nekamaru? Damn it! There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Catch Coach Nekamaru's a monstrous guy. There's no way he's gonna die from something like that. There's no doubt. Nekamaru's definitely gonna come back. Damn it. So when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak and I caused some trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Akane. As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekumaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus the nightmare continues. Kuma's Super Fables, Story 58, A Tengu Came Down From The Mountains A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is it really the Tengus' fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now's the time to rise up against the humans! We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! The end. Great story. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Now then! Let's show some in. As usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see someone, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Yo! Oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. <laughs> Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it! Nekumaru, what'd that bastard mean by his final firework? That lies more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nekumaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs. Just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. I, you! Shut up. Don't say another word. Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. Hajime. Yeah, good morning. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekomaru. Come on, feel better. Hmm? As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> What's that? What was that? I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Someone crying inside? Mikan? Where's a Hyoko? I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant.
to us. <laughs> what happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. <laughs> what happened, Connie? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekomaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nekomaru's dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Nekomaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way that explains a change in this sudden and drastic. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. What, huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. What? That's why. That's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. Where is this coming from all of a sudden? What are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekomaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come as a replacement. What is... <laughs> so, let's all give that person a warm welcome. You. Are you messing around? It's the truth! I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, I'll explain it, especially to you. Listen carefully. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know, the true identity of the world ender. The traitor who's hiding among us. There's no mistake. Byakuya. That's right, Byakuya's alive. Huh? He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? No, no, you, you explain yourself. Hey, what happened? Did something happen to you too? <laughs> Weird? What's weird? I'm always normal. I always speak the truth. That's weird. Hajime, you're the one who's strange. I see. That's it. You must be a fake, too. You must be Hajime's clone. What the hell? Hey! It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. No. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> that idiot, he lied to me about Mahiro being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why? Why is he telling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I don't know. I, I hate being lied to. Jeez! He won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. It'll probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why do you have to tell such an outrageous lie? Yes! Pardon me, everyone, but you happen to have some time to spare. Hello, my oh. name is Ibuki Miyoda. It may be rude of me, but I'd like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Uh, are you okay? Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. Ibuki? Yes, I'm Ibuki Miyoda. Aren't you acting strange too? Wait! Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime is dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see. So it's not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the 
heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? Um... Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. You got it wrong! That's not it. Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird! Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Oh my! Why have you forgotten me? I'm Nikon Sumiki. <laughs> anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand of her forehead? Uh, Buki, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand onto Buki's forehead while she continued to spout gibberish. She's hot. And not in that other way. What is this? The heat's abnormal. Yes. That's right, she has a terribly high fever. Then could the others? Akane, uh, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so weak. I placed my hand onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it, she has such a high fever, there's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? Huh? All three of them have fevers? And the reason these guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency! Emergency! My goodness, that's obviously bad! Monokuma. For him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Just a minute! Whoa there, can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. Just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered had all had confused expressions on their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Did something happen, you guys? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Wait! Hold on! Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? Also, what happened to Nekomaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear. Hmm? Nekomaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? Um, you're thinking of Ranma, one half. You stupid brother! Who the heck is that? Nekomaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. Oh. Jeez! Shut up! I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious like energy! Well now. Now that I've shut up the nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. Though... Well done. I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So it's just as I thought, the true identity of this high fever is... That's right! This is the new motive I've given you! It's huh? the despair disease! What? What the? Despair disease? Actually... You know, they're extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's true. It's not like I had them recently. I never. I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Well... Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on this person. For instance, Nagito is affected by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities. Except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like all you guys are down with a sickness yet. But be careful! Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person. Just like a cold. Huh? You mean it is contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Hey, 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 hey! Let's run, Miss Sonya. It'd be terrible if you could caught the lonely disease of the common folks. 
that's right. Let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a friend's into a crazy state? Phew. Isn't this quite a novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely co different personality! Think of all the murder tricks! Is there any way to treat it? Why? Why is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. <laughs> it's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts toward killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. You bastard. You better stop talking about this bullshit. <laughs> it's all my fault. Oops, sorry, I'm always bothering you. All right. I decided. As an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal briquettes somewhere? Um, I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. Just stop it, Akane, Nagito, Goofy, you guys stay put. Hey. You're wrong, I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito Komeda is a fake name. I'm sorry I've kept it a secret till now. Understood. Oh, I see. What the? She's believing him again? So serious! Amazing! Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome! <laughs> despair! 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 It's amazing! You should all get it too! We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from this despair disease. That's... the only... And he's out. Whoa! Oh, we collapsed! <laughs> Nagito! <laughs> now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease? Or even before that? Thrills! Chills! Kills! I'm so excited about it, I'm just gonna stand around naked! Bring it on! Just kidding, I'm always naked. Hey! Damn it. Nekumaru's incident just happened, and now this? Where'd that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? <laughs> this is bad. Nagito's foamy at the mouth. <gasps> She's right. I've never seen foam that color before. Impossible. It's an eph ephemerally rare color, normally only found in the depths of the Netherworld Sea. <laughs> in this case, the color doesn't matter. So let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it, I'll help out. Please wait. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely gonna bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey bastards, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. You just I just have to alternate the movements of my left and right leg, correct? Ah! Hold on. Oh, walk, so don't leave me. Then let's go. Season Toe and Nagito's condition was clearly worsening. We rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? And there's a possibility it might be passed along. What the heck? Damn it, what should I do? Well, the answer to that I think we'll uh I think we'll find out next time. I'm playing a game.